This is no ordinary party. This is a reunion of sisters. Not sisters by birth, but sisters of faith. Sisters of the Holy Spirit. Sisters brought together by the God-molded spirit of Dr. Sylvia Galvez. This reunion is bringing together women who in many cases have not seen each other in as many as 20 years. Women whom in all cases were placed in the foster care system, teenagers who faced trials and tribulations, and in many cases, downright abuse. Sisters brought together as teens at the Sullivan's group home, the creation of faith and rebirth by Sylvia Galvez, the love and friendship shared here underscores what Dr. Galvez created, a home with love and support, not a group facility. That was home for them. Sullivan's group home was the new start in paradise for them. It was home. It was a place for them to call home, a place where they didn't experience that in the system. And this was a different type of residential facility. Uh, I try to make it look like a home environment, and I received the girls coming in and trying to make them feel like um, this is a family. And that description may roll off the tongue easily, but each of these women have successful lives, something not traditionally associated with foster care facilities. I was, at 18 months old, I was adopted, and then I was abused by my adopted family, and then I was put back into foster care at 12. And then I was in a, um, a multiple places, and then Sylvia got me um, when I was 15, I believe. That was before the miracles she found at Sullivan's group home. I have a master's degree, um, I work full time, and I always told myself, I want my kids to be able to be like my mom's educated and she's smart and I want my kids to be able to see that and know that if I can do it, they can do it. Sylvia did not follow the typical group home playbook. She wanted her girls to seek more in life. I think the system there really wanted to teach us how to access public benefits to depend on welfare and just her setting the bar that we needed more than that 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 wasn't the goal that we needed to shoot for to be able to do that but to go and follow our dreams for resident after resident sylvia helped each by giving them the tools to create their own golden brick road she got me get my first job she was there with me when i had my daughter she helped me furnish my first apartment i mean i just been so close to sylvia she has taught me everything like she's the only mama i know had me going to church every Sunday. I'd be like, well, I gotta go to this church. But now I know why, because now I'm the woman that I'm supposed to be because of her. Sylvia became a mom to so many. She turned what many would call clients into daughters. I'm just grateful for them to install the things in me they did because I was a bad kid. And by the time I emancipated, um, I did go to her transitional limit after I emancipated. I had been in 26 group homes because I couldn't listen. But Sylvia could listen, and that made the critical difference for so many. They found a mom who could hear them. Sylvia was able to pull the layers off and see me for me. Mm -hmm. So well, when I first got to the group home, I didn't act the best. I was really bad. And I remember going to Sylvia's office, and me and her were sitting in there, and I remember telling her I'm ready I just want to leave and Sylvia was like do you want me to let you leave do you want to leave and I was crying and I was like I want to leave and Sylvia started crying she was like I'm not going to let you leave I'm not going to give up on you you're going to stay here and you're going to do better and you're going to get yourself together and I just I'll never forget that day. Sullivan's group home created a positive structure that went beyond mere survival but instead it was an environment of higher standards so each teen could thrive Sylvia created Magic Place. <laughs> That's what it is. That really was. <laughs> yeah. Because she did make us go to church, you know. <laughs> we went to church. Um, we did a lot of activities together. Like, um, a lot of group homes, they're not going to take you to L.A. and, you know, introduce you to... Um, to politics. To pop, yes, definitely <laughs> politics and religion and things like that. They don't expose you to that those types of things they don't really instill education and and you know things like that um and in our particular group home we that's what we did like we 
focus on school. We focus on, you know, um, independence. And that's where I, it well, all of us really got all of our skills. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of diversity in that one magic place. The creation of such a magical place was not a random occurrence. Sylvia had lived through the experiences these girls faced. I love all of you guys the same, and, and you guys know that. But I want to say that we beat statistics, right? You guys beat statistics. I beat it. A high school dropout, and, and I'm a doctor now. You guys all know that, okay? You know, and I always told you guys, if I could do it, you guys could do it. And a lot of you guys got your master's degree. A lot of you guys are professionals now. Dr. Galvez harvested what she learned by breaking the odds and shared it with her team so they too could beat the odds. This author of two published books is a spiritual leader, an educational leader, and always mentors by providing positive examples, rules, support, and opportunities. You know, I, I came, I was angry, I didn't believe in God, I didn't remember that, and she used to force me with prayer, and she'd be like, just do it, and she instilled a lot of that in me. Um, she, she helped me build more confidence and be successful with myself, and she used to tell me all the time, Sade, you're going to get far, you're going to do great, but I just never believed it, and I'm just happy to be here. Mm. While these teenagers were dependent on the foster care system, Sylvia taught them to depend on themselves. Yeah, she said, go get, go after your own dreams and make sure you make your own income. Me And then the guidance from Sylvia also helped, led me to make sure I do not go into a rabbit hole of that welfare life or depending on the government or anything like that. Each resident came with a basic need for nourishment but Sylvia knew each had a hunger, an appetite for something more, something beyond those basics. Well, I, I believed in all the girls. I believed all of them were gonna make it, maybe in different levels, but I knew they were because they, they came in with um, hungry, hungry to, to belong to something or somebody. And I sensed that and I felt it and I, and I embraced that feeling and it's like, you guys could do it. You could be anything, have a family, you could have it all. It doesn't have to be like it was when you were at home with your family. You can make it better. We talked about these impressionable teens becoming like sisters. Could what happened at Sullivan's group home happen anywhere else? No. Why? Um, Sullivan's group home was definitely something unique. Um, I don't know, the bond was, was much richer mm -hmm. among the girls. Yes, yes. definitely authentic. Um, you had your fights, your tussles, but at the end of the day, we all came back together. Prime time for young, young mm -hmm. girls, mm -hmm. young, going, going into get, becoming a young woman. Are these women now leading fairy tale lives? No. Life will always have its challenges, but each is filled with gratitude. I don't want to cry. Yeah. I don't. I just want to say thank. Look at that. I just want to say thank you so much for um, bringing me into your group home. I want to say thank you so much for installing working into me. Oh my gosh. I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for um, you guys being my sisters. I always talk. Oh my God. Okay, look. I'm just. I think I was going to say thank you, and I will say thank you guys for being my sister. While living under the guidance of Sylvia, they shared a bond that goes well beyond DNA. We have pictures together. Mm -hmm. We're in the same outfit. Yeah. Yes, we do. <laughs> With the They're black hats. Yes. Oh, my gosh. i got to find that picture. I missed you. I missed you, too, and I don't think I ever said I love you. I love you as well. I love you. <laughs> Forever. I know it has. <laughs> ah. Because of changing times, Sylvia transitioned the group home into a new approach, now Galvez Community Services, a program created to unify families to rebuild broken kids. So what I do now is I would advocate for families who come into contact with Child Protective Services, or maybe there's former foster youth who will be have come in contact with Child Protective Services who needs help to advocate for them in court, um, just to support them 
so their kids won't fall into the system. Whatever the nature of Sylvia's passion, she is guided by the strength and grace of God and continues to impact the hearts and souls of others. Looking into her eyes is looking into her soul. And she has a beautiful soul. She really does. Amen. Thank you. I love you, Mama. Do we get an amen?